Laura, thank you so much for doing this and for, for taking a few minutes to talk with us. How did you get connected with The Chosen? Where did that opportunity first come up? Right, my story is a little bit different than most of the actors, I think, because when a project comes out, usually, um, you know, your agents like see it and they send it to the actors and then you audition for it. But for me, I was with such a small agent, um, they didn't know about it. And mm. uh, this was being cast out of LA and I live in Atlanta. However, uh, about three years prior to The Chosen even being a thought, I, um, I met a girl who, she was an actress um, and she was filming a faith-based film in Atlanta. We became really good friends right away. Um, I wasn't filming with her, but we had we had mutual friends and um, she was awesome and I looked up to like her career and just like what she had going for her and how bold she was about her faith too. And um, mm -hmm. so when she finished filming, she went back to LA and then she started working at a casting office um, and Three years later, that ends up being the casting office that The Chosen decides to use. And uh, so she was an associate and she saw, you know, the project come out and she thought of me, you know, we, we had like such a good close relationship and um, and she uh, saw the role of Mary Magdalene and she sent that to me. Um, and I read for, for Mary Magdalene. I think I loved the script, loved how just amazing it was. and. Um, but Dallas, you know, he saw my audition tape, and I think he, I think he liked it. He just might have had a different role in mind for me. So, I then auditioned for Eden, and um, I, I booked it as yeah. an actor. It's you know, crazy story, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, season three is elevating a lot of women and yeah. the, the roles of women throughout Jesus's earthly ministry, mm -hmm. and playing Eden, Simon Peter's wife. Yeah. What, how is that factored in? What do you make of, of wanting to elevate those female stories, particularly as a focus in season three? Yeah, I think we're, we're elevated and we're highlighted in such a way that I didn't, I, I think that's resonating with so many people because mm -hmm. most faith-based stuff, like a lot of, you know, sometimes, I, I don't know, I feel like it's not portrayed um, as, as, you know, as well as it could. And also, this is the first time that we get to see who Jesus really is mm. and how he viewed and saw women and how he lifted them up and how they're, you know, in his eyes, they're just as important and their jobs are important too. And, um, you know, our responsibilities and, and, and everything. And I think, I think that's so impactful and so important for, mm. you know, for people to see that just because the times were different back then, like he's always been the same. He's always seen us this way. Yeah. And as somebody who's come into this project as a believer, how have you been maybe surprised or challenged by Jesus and the disciples and, and, and seeing scripture that you may have read, mm -hmm. but never seen it come alive yeah. like it is now? How has that impacted you? Definitely. it's um, It's been completely life-changing for me personally because I didn't grow up um, with a strong like faith. I didn't have a relationship with Jesus. Like my mom was raised Catholic, but we didn't mm. go to church. I didn't own a Bible. I didn't have you know that root under me. Um, so um, in my mid twenties was when I I personally found my calling and my relationship with Christ, and was when I realized that I needed Him if I was going to go after this crazy industry of acting, which I also didn't find until I found. God, so it was like it's a it was a connection for me. Like mm. I can't tell one without the other. Like I can't tell my acting journey without Jesus, and vice versa. I can't tell my testimony without like realizing that my passion and love and gift that He gave me, and He almost like He spoke to me and was like, "I'm um, gonna help you get you know open the open yeah. doors and opportunities and put people into my life." Like my friend who you know started working on the Chosen, and you know she's a strong woman of faith too. And so, yeah, it's just those God connections, I think, that hmm. got me to where I am. And it hasn't always, like, been easy, you know, and my I, because I came into my faith a little later in life, too. Like, it's like I'm learning as I go. Um, he's meeting me where I am constantly. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not always strong in my faith. Sometimes it shakes. Sometimes it wavers. Sometimes you're in uh, disbeliefs, you know, at, at times mm. or there's... But, um, but I think that's, I think that's why I'm here. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm, 
I get this gift of sharing and telling my story and mm -hmm. maybe that's why God has placed me here to be able to, I don't know, help help someone out there too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. and I, I noticed on your social media that you have Proverbs sixteen nine as a verse. Uh, that's maybe a, a life verse for yes, you. Yes, I and it love fits, it. It fits so perfectly into this story. It's amazing. Can you yeah. Talk a little bit about yeah. why that verse is so important. Well, the verse says, "In our hearts, we plan the course, you know, but the Lord establishes our steps." So that can have so much meaning to it because in our hearts, we're like or in our minds, whatever it is, we're like, oh, I want to do this, this, and this, and I have hopes and dreams of doing this, and I want to, you know, or I, I want to accomplish this. But it's like, for me, I didn't realize that without, like, that supernatural help, power, mm -hmm. and, and that the spirit of Jesus, like, he's the one that is going to open or sometimes close those doors for me or put mm -hmm. people into my life or... Um, you know, ex like allow experiences to happen to me so that I can fulfill a greater purpose. For instance, like, you know, being on this, on the show, it's like, yeah. I wanted to be an actor, but he's the one that has gotten me here and paved the way for me to be mm -hmm. able to tell and share what he's done for me. Yeah. yeah. And how have you seen, you've mentioned now a couple of times about how the Lord has kind of led <laughs> you and has provided for you in this role. Yes. How have you seen maybe instances of Jesus and Christ and your relationship with him helping you in this process as you're playing and developing the character of Eden? Yes. Um, it's like, as I sit here right now, like in season three, Eden is going through a, an immense amount of, of like just emotional pain and, and loneliness and, and um, there's weight that I'm carrying. Mm -hmm. And so I am also, I feel like carrying that um, in my walk now, you know, where things aren't always great. You know, you don't always feel um, as strong in your faith. And so mm -hmm. um, I'm taking it as well, God is really allowing me to be in that space to be able to tell the story in an authentic way. Because mm -hmm. if I'm relating to it on a personal level, then I'm doing the role justice. And then therefore, I think the audience will then be able to see, Yeah, you know. How have you seen maybe that developing that character, balancing the complexity of like in your personal life, I've got questions mm -hmm. uh, and I, I'm seeking answers, but then you're also, the storyline is moving forward in a right. show, so you're still having to shoot scenes. Yeah. How have you balanced that in your head? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Trey, it's crazy. It's, um, it's, I'm being so challenged and it's, I'm trying to keep in mind that I'm, I'm telling the story, right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's. But like what I'm going through is like my body doesn't know the difference or like my mind doesn't know the difference. Like if I'm if I'm sad because I need to be for this for this particular scene, um, I I get there. I find a way to get there. But it's so, it's not always easy to like pull myself back out mm -hmm. um, because you know it's it's um it's not a natural thing that yeah. you know that that we're able to do. So I'm still working on it and finding mm. that balance of like, I can't quite let go of what we're going through at currently because we're not finished filming season three. So yeah. I can't quite let it go, you know, right now, um, even as I sit here, it's mm. like I live with it and I kind of carry it with me. And maybe that's just my process of like the method that I, you know, that I'm um, going through, but I'm also honoring where I really am. Like I'm not yeah. forcing myself to be in this space. Yeah. I just am, and I think God is using that um, to be able to to tell you know to tell that to tell the story and and have mm. truth behind it because it's that's what's more important too. I think yeah. is get, yeah. honoring that. Oh, thank yeah. you so much for taking a few minutes. I appreciate it. I could talk to you for a, while, a oh, long while, thank but thank you. you. <laughs>